Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel video 107, and we're in Excel 2010 now. You'll notice that Excel 2010 looks a lot like Excel 2007. The, the learning curve from 2003 to 2007 was really steep. 2007 to 2010, there's some new features, there's some cool new things, but it's not nearly the steep learning curve that we had before when we were trying to get to 2007. And today what I want to show you is one of the cool new things that is in Excel 2007. You just start with an introduction to this thing called Sparklines. If you go to the Insert menu, over here you have Sparklines, and underneath Sparklines there are three different kinds of Sparklines, Line, Column, and Win Loss. And I just want to go through an overview today of what they are, what they look like, and then starting with the next video we'll start to play with them and dig into some of the options and what you can make them do. What a Line Sparkline will do is it's this Sparkline right here. And what we can do is we got Dr. Drop here who's monthly income went from 25,000 to 42 and then he lost 23,000 in August probably because he took a lot of time off and what a spark line is is just a simple little one cell chart that uh, can depict this data so you can go so you go from 25 to 42 and down below 23 you're not going to have nearly the axis or all those other things that we were talking about with Excel two, um, 2010 charts or 2007 charts for that matter what you are going to have is just a very simple one cell depiction of what's going on. You're not going to have chart titles or legends or axes or any of those kind of things. Just a simple depiction. Here's accounts receivable from, now, no, notice the dates here and I did this specifically. We've got January, then we've got the end of March, then we've got the end of the year. And there are two different kinds of column spark lines. One is a trend spark line where the column is going to get bigger as the, uh, and uh, it's going to go higher as the data over here goes higher this spark line is tied to this data over here what a data a and that's called a trend spark line what a data access type will do is it's not focused so much on well the the columns are spaced equally here let's look at it that way even though the dates are not the dates are january march and december what a data access type spark line will do is it will look at that and it'll say hey i can see that I've got January, March, and December, and so rather than make them equidistant like they are here, if we put them in this spark line here, then it shows January, March, and then a big gap of time to December. And so there may be times when you, when you want to use the trend kind of spark line to just where the data is equidistant and you're, um, you're going to simply show the trend. Other times you're going to want to show, hey, this is what's, uh, my data is, you know, is not equidistant. It's, it, there's a big gap between the data and this is a better way to show that. Last one, straightforward, it's called a win-loss spark line and what it'll do is if um, it's positive it's, it goes up and if it's negative it goes down and it shows you, obviously you can do win-loss that way, in this example I said an increase and decrease of collections. Now it doesn't show the magnitude of that increase, I mean you know, the f up 5%, up 22% and you look over here at the spark line, they're the very same height and 3.3 .3 is, is a loss just like if we make this negative 0.3 now we're down 30 percent and the spark line didn't change but if we went to three say now the spark lines back up so if I go let's put it back to negative 0.03 say uh, a win-loss spark line isn't going to show the magnitude of up and down it's a simple little way to show are we ahead or behind on a given metric and the idea of all these spark lines is, is a great way in a very small amount of space to tell a story that you could put on a dashboard and then if you wanted more information you could always direct the user to more information. I've got some clever ways to do that that we'll go through in the next couple of videos. Hope you found that helpful. Stay tuned next time we'll go into more detail on sparklines. Thanks for watching.